Hi, I'm Jack Nelson, and I have the privilege of being the founder and president of Worldlink International. We started Worldlink 15 years ago, basically to share the tangible love of God and the good news of Jesus with uh, hurting and helpless people all around the world, and in fact, in some of the most difficult places of the world. And we do that by partnering with indigenous national Christians to serve transformationally in their own countries. And you say, well, why would you do that rather than sending someone from another country? And, and basically it's because they already know the language, they already know the culture, uh, they're ready to go immediately, they uh, don't have to leave when there's regional conflicts or, or troubles, and, and in many ways they're just more effective than I would be going to their countries. And then they can do it for really a hundredth to a tenth the amount of cost that it would cost me to send my family. So whether we're rescuing women who are victims of sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or whether we're helping orphaned, abandoned, abused kids in uh, India, building children's homes, whether we're doing outreach and church planting in unreached areas, or feeding children in Guatemalan dumps, no matter what we do around the world to share that tangible love of God and good news, we, we do it in partnership with Christians who are local to those areas. And I want to introduce you to one of those. My friend Dickens is from Uganda. He has an amazing, amazing work there. And he's going to share a little bit about that and a little bit of his thanks to those who help him from here in the States. Hello, friends out there. My name is Dickens Ziwa Senyonjo. I am a Ugandan working in my country, Uganda, and happy to be involved in a ministry that seeks to restore hope to a generation that seems to have no hope. I work in the central region of Uganda in this ministry, covering a population of more than 30,000 students in 19 districts, spread in the different schools all through this region. I am involved in a, a discipleship ministry which seeks to emphasize Bible use and interaction with the Bible. Part of what I do in this ministry is to hold group Bible studies, hold trainings, I do hold scripture memorization, and above all, to let the people discover the wonderful truths and promises of the Lord Jesus Christ for themselves in the Bible themselves. The ministry is geared towards gathering the youth together to bring them in camps to restore them to the state where God wants them to be, to move with a focus and hope. I am grateful for your support. Thank you, Wordlink, and every one of you out there who keeps us in prayer, who keeps us moving with your money. That money does much. Where I cannot go, your money has made me to go. And where you cannot go, I will go for you when that money is there, when that prayer is there. The challenges might be there, but together we can make a difference for the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you. We remain partners in Christ. Amen. As Dickens said, we and he are partners. And he can go and he can do what we can't go and what we can't do. So if God leads you to help someone like Dickens or one of our other 400 indigenous missionary partners around the world, I would be so thankful. God bless you. Thank you.